Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, we're going to talk about your favorite YouTube fitness channels. And the question is, what do they really know about getting fit? Before we get into this topic, if you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. Come on over, submit your questions. The best questions I turn into videos just like this. All right. So fitness, YouTube fitness, everybody's talking about fitness, but does your YouTube fitness channel really know anything about fitness at all, okay? Do they, they, do they, have they been there? Have they been extremely fit or are they just using the word? Well, I guess to answer that question, we need to define, we need to differentiate between getting fit, the process of improving your fitness, and reaching a quality fitness level and what that means. Now, most of us are trying to get fitter. We're trying to get fitter. We're trying to improve our fitness. We're trying to go from being a lazy sack of poo-poo, which I was when I was a big, fat, hairy power lifter, to somebody that can actually walk to the mailbox without having a coronary or have intercourse, adult relationships without having a coronary, or feel pretty good, you know, being able to go for a long hike or, um, you know, go out and run a little bit with the kids and not feel like you're going to drop dead. Improving your fitness, that's different from being very fit. So, yes, a lot of us have experienced an improvement in our fitness level, but that doesn't mean we've been very fit. So the question is, what does your YouTube channel know? What does your YouTube guru really know about being fit? Because a person who hasn't been fit doesn't really know what it feels like. So I have been fit. I have been a runner. I could go out and there's a difference between being able to go out and run a mile and, you know, make it look and go, oh, I made, I ran a mile without dying. That's an achievement. That's not being fit. Okay. But being able to go run three to five miles and be like, that felt really easy. That felt really good. I feel in control. That's being fit. Um, going out and hiking three miles on some pseudo, you know, consumer type of trail that's just all paved and you get done, you're like, I need a piece of cake. But that's not being fit. Okay. That's, that's, that's going out and doing what normal people do, like struggling to make it three miles and then getting done and, and feeling like you're half dead. That's not being fit. I mean, that's better than being fat and obese and not being able to make it. But if you can go out and walk 20 miles in a weekend, me and Fiona did that the other, I don't know, what, a month ago. Um, we hiked 20 miles over some pretty violent terrain. That's being fit. So there's a big difference between being really fit and being able to do things normal people should be able to do. Now, how many YouTube channels really know about being super fit who have been there themselves? I'm going to tell you not as many as you think. I'm not going to go out and name names because that's not really the point of this video. But I just see it tossed around so much in YouTube fitness, you know, the word fitness. And I don't think a lot of these people have ever been super fit in their life. They, they've just never had a degree of conditioning or a degree of um, fitness that is noteworthy. I've, I've played basketball. I've been a runner for 14 years. I've, I've uh, been a wrestler in high school. I went out for football. I've been in cross country. Um, you know, all these kinds of things. I've experienced a great degree of fitness. I used to do step-ups and step-ups and step-ups for 30 minutes to an hour a day. I did jumping rope. But even back in the late 70s, I did, um, I did cardiovascular work, you know, like aerobics. We called it aerobics. You know, there's a difference between being able to do three sets of push-ups for 10 reps and being able to knock out 100 in like no time flat, which I experienced, you know, in the military. We got such a good degree of fitness that we could just knock out push-ups and sit-ups for days and run for days. So I'm not making this video to like elevate myself. That's not the point. What I want you guys to do is understand as fitness, uh, as fitness consumers, as consumers of YouTube fitness videos, to be able to set some kind of a standard and understand, okay, there's a big difference between achieving something that most of us should be able to achieve, like running a mile without dying, even, even, or, you know, even though we feel like crap, or hiking three to five miles and feeling like crap, or, you know, being able to do 30 total push ups in your living room without 
feeling like crap, that's not being fit. That's being normal. That's what normal people should do. But you need to know as a consumer of YouTube fitness, the di difference between a normal level of fitness and somebody that is really fit or has experienced uh, a, a degree of, of extreme fitness when you can just go do push-ups for days and run for days and hike for days and swim for days and bike for days and you just have the fitness level where you feel almost unstoppable you feel like a physical force me and fiona were talking about this the other day like we have had degrees of fitness in our lives where we just felt like awesome just incredible like we could go from a cardiovascular standpoint forever we could bike forever or run forever and you can't but that's kind of what you feel like when you're done you can just do push-ups or sit-ups or whatever for days because you have an elevated fitness level and really when we talk about being fit this should be a goal of each of ours to not just have a good body but to have a fit body and when we when I say fit body not just be able to go run a mile without dying or do 25 push-ups that's not fitness we should set some goals above and beyond that as individuals, not just to look good, not just to be lean, not just to be healthy, but to be fit, to be able to run or bike or hike or do whatever it is you want to do, push-ups or body weight exercises to some degree where you feel really in control and like you could go and go and go. You're in control of your body. That's fitness. That's fitness, not you barely made it through and you survived. That's not, that's not being fit. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.